Hi, my name is Malcolm Roach, and today we're going to look at finding out where our rented equipment is located and when it's expected back. So we're going to look at four different options for doing this. So first, we're going to start with the equipment card for a skid steer loader that is currently on rent. This assumes, of course, that the user knows the unit number. Now, the unit that we're interested in is 338. If we look at the unit card for 338, on the rental tab, we will see that it says, yes, it is indeed on rent and it's on rental contract number 144. Clicking on that rental contract actually opens up the contract directly. From there, you can see that 338 is on a rental line. And if we scroll down to the shipping tab, we can see the location where the equipment currently is supposed to be located. And if we if you look at the ship to field where it says alternate shipping address, that means that this is a regular ship to address for the customer, but we could have also picked a completely custom address where we just typed it in for a one-time uh, delivery. We could have picked an address from a job site. And if we were using the advanced dispatch module, we were able to use a global site address uh, table as well to look up at shipping addresses. Second option is we're gonna start from the rental contract. So in this case, we already have the rental contract open and you can start from here instead of going to look it up from the card. So this assumes then that you know who the customer is uh, or you know the rental contract number. When you're going to search in the list of rental contracts back on the main screen, you can come into this screen, into the rental contract screen. You can come into the rental contract screen and just do a search on a datum corporation if you know they have the equipment you'll see all the contracts they have in here if you know the number you can look at them uh, or you can uh, you can look it up and start browsing them in this particular case a datum gets used quite a bit in test data so that's why there's so many but you can look up the contract directly from here uh, on the contract itself of course then it does tell you um, the actual expected return date on the line Okay, so that was contract 144. Come into your search, type in 144. There's your contract, open it up. And if you look over here, here's the expected rental return date. A customer may choose to keep it longer, but obviously that's going to be a discussion between you and the customer. Okay, a third option is to start from the user's homepage. We actually have a group availability matrix that shows all of your groups of equipment with the 30 day availability view but more importantly, in this case, because we're looking for equipment that's on rent and that isn't available, then we're able to come into here. We'll filter on skid steers. It screen will come down to just that one record. And if we look in the upper right hand corner, we'll see there's seven reservations. And if we look for unit 338, we can see that it's expected back on 866 and up underneath the related option on the menu there's something called a rental document we just have to make sure we highlight the line first so we go relent related we go related rental document and then we go directly into the rental contract just like we did before and so then again you can look at the expected return date august 6th and we can go down to the shipping tab to get the physical location of the equipment okay fourth option we go back again to the home page and optionally, you can license something called a rental availability calendar. And in here again, we'll filter on the skid steers. And you get to see the current status of all your skid steers. So the red lines means that we have contracts in here where people are, are, uh, are waiting to be assigned skid steers, but the blue line means that the unit is actually on rent. So for Unit number 338, we can see that it's on rent on contract 144. If you stop or hover over the blue line, it'll pop up and tell you that it's on rent by a datum on document 144 for an expected period of July 10th to August 6th. At this point, if you want to actually look up more information, such as the actual ship to address, all you have to do is click once on that blue line. All you have to do is click on the blue line and it will bring up the rental contract, in which case you're back to the same information that you had before. As you know, in the rental business, customers sometimes will move equipment around. And if that's the case, 
then as long as you change to edit mode on the contract, you can come down here and change the ship to address to keep track of where the equipment is. There is also an option for having an address by line. So if a con if a customer, so if a customer takes out three skid steer loaders, uh, you can actually go into each skid steer loader and enter a different address for each one. And that's it for today. Thank you.